from one of our viewers, and that this is a war without end, he says on Twitter. Can we authorize a war on terrorism in perpetuity? Well, I don't think we should. Um, so, and and I, to, to Obama's credit, they did propose a sunset in this authorization, and I think that's appropriate, because after three years, it's time to revisit and consider when, where we are at that point. Have we made progress? Have we not made progress? Who's the, has the enemy morphed? If so, let's authorize force against the enemy that exists in three years from now. Um, so, so, so no, we should not be declaring war into perpetuity. And I think, and Obama has been very consistent in saying that this nation should not be in a state of perpetual war. That's damaging to our nation. That's damaging to our identity. That's damaging to, in a whole host of other areas. It bleeds into a whole host of other areas outside of the war fighting context. So, no, we should not be in a state of perpetual war. And our goal should be to get out of that state. Um, how we do that? is not easy, um, but, but certainly we're going back to our initial discussion about the authorization, that's exactly why um, Obama's right to propose a sunset in this particular authorization with respect to ISIL and why there also needs to be a sunset with, with respect to the underlying 2001 AUMF as well. Let's go back to 2002, the AUMF 